This voice is synthesized using AI techniques. So how do we program an AI agent so that it can learn to walk or fly using neural evolution approaches even in very complex continuous action space problems? We'll break down those steps today. Note that this tutorial is for absolute beginners. If you are new to AI programming, genetic algorithms or neural evolution techniques, but have a bit of programming background, then this tutorial is for you. In order to follow along you will need to install Python 3.5 or above. You will need to install the various Python dependencies typically done by executing the following command pip install package name. You also will need to know general programming concepts. Python is easy to pick up, so don't get too hang up on the syntax. Remember, you can pause the video at any time, and you have access to the full source code. Check the description for GitHub links. What is a neural evolution algorithm? Well, genetic algorithms and neural evolution in particular inherit directly from biological evolution. They are more simplified of course, but the main concepts are the same. Essentially, the theory of evolution is predicated on the following premises, life is trying to perfect survivability of the individual, and in so doing perpetuate life itself, by protecting the concept of the genome. In order to obtain the best results for the above, life found a way to continuously improve its chances of survival by continuously improving the survivability of the individuals that carry it. It does so by selecting the fittest individuals of each generation, remember this as it will be useful when we program our algorithm. This ensures that the features, whether good or bad, of the best individuals are combined to create new individuals. The features of the individuals are carried by genes. In biological organisms, these features are stored in the genome, in the chromosomes and genes. The process above all but ensures that each generation we will have individuals that have a greater chance of being fit than the individuals of the previous generations. This is because they carry the genes features of the best. Life also intentionally allows for errors to be introduced in the genome of every new individual in order to allow for discovery. This is a very important concept in both evolution and artificial intelligence. So what do we need to remember from this? And what elements are we going to carry over to our neural evolution algorithm? We will need 1. A set of features that are going to distinguish each individuals. For us this is going to be the individual weights of our neural network. Our neural network will then be responsible for determining courses of action based on the input it gets from its environment. 2. We have a way to measure the fitness of each individual's every generation. In life's case it is survivability, in our case, it will be the distance covered by our robot or how well the agent can land on the moon. 3. A function that tries to maximize the overall fitness of our population. We continuously improve on our objective by selecting the best individuals in each generation and merging their features to create new individuals. So we copy the process of natural selection and we improve it by being more selective, top 2, top 5, 4. In addition, we ensure that new features can be introduced to the population every generation via mutations. Why do we use the weights and biases of a neural network as the futures of our individuals? Well, neural networks are really just functions that take a set number of numbers as inputs and outputs of set number of values based on its parameters. In AI, the weights and biases of the network are called parameters. This is very handy because by tweaking the different features of the network, by tweaking its genes, we can have different behaviors. Essentially, at each step in our simulation we will get a state and pass that state to the individual's neural network and it will output specific numbers that will correspond to the actions that we will execute. Now let's initialize our population. We will create a list that holds all individuals. We will also declare useful constants and variables such as the number of individual per generation. The maximum number of generation the number of features, in our case neurons and weights. Noise sigma, the degree with which a feature can mutate. The probability of mutating an individual's gene and other miscellaneous variables. Then, 
let's create a function that initializes the first individuals with random features. We will also create a function that passes a state to an individual's neural network and retrieves what it thinks is the best action in this situation state. Notice the parameters of this function are mostly constants that we declared earlier. We we also create a function to test each individual and obtain their fitness score. Thanks to OpenAI's simple interface we can pass the action that each individual thinks is more appropriate with a simple environment.step. This will return the next state of our environment. Meanwhile, we also collect all rewards in the cumulative reward variable. We will average all rewards and assign that value as the fitness score. We repeat this until all episodes for this generation is over. For each generation we will do the following. We will test all individuals within our environment. In our case, our environment is an open AI environment. The testing will ensure that each individual has a fitness score. Each individual's performance is determined by its features genes. In our case the features are the individual weights of the network. We will select the best individuals from this generation and keep them in the top individuals list. We will then populate the next generation by mixing the features of the best individuals which we had stored in top individuals. We will then add random mutations to all new individuals. There are different strategies to introduce mutations. This will be based on two values, mutation prob, which determines the probability that a weight of the network will be changed, noise sigma, which determines the Gaussian magnitude of the feature weight change, Rinse and repeat. Now let's look at examples of our neuroevolution algorithm performing difficult tasks in continuous action space. You can play with the hyperparameters, mainly mutation prob, noise sigma, number of individuals per generation, network depth and network width to get varying results. One important note. The fitness score is one of the most important items to select in a neuroevolution algorithm. Wrongly selected, this can lead the algorithm to progress towards the wrong objective. A good example of that can be seen in traditional reinforcement learning environment, where the rewards are given every step. This often needs to be changed to the total reward throughout the life of the individual. In order cases, the RL reward need to be substituted for a more simple fitness score, such as the distance traveled during an episode. Of course, there are many improvements that can be brought to this code. You will find the link to the code in the description below. Thank you.